Hello? This is, this is the new travel. Are you subscribed? And did you click the bell? Yes? Okay, great. Oh, hey, YouTube. Just had to finish up a quick phone call. Thanks for waiting. I'm in a neighborhood called St. Henri. And St. Henri is an area I'd I've been meaning to get to for a long time because I've had a few people in Montreal tell me that it's one of the cooler areas that there's a lot of things happening there these days. It's a quickly changing part of the city. I'm excited to, to check it out. And I'm also excited because I'm not here on my own today. I'm meeting up with another Montrealer. His name is Jean-Francois. And as you might be able to uh, guess from the name, Jean-Francois is a uh, Quebecois. He's a French Canadian who reached out, wanted to show me around his neighborhood. And yeah, it's going to be fun. Now, geographically speaking, uh, this part of the city is pretty far west. So we're just below Westmount and we're just above Verdun. St. Henri is not a huge part of the city. Uh, it's about a similar size to, I think, Point St. Charles, which is another area I filmed in. But uh, from what I hear, there are at least a few things that are definitely worth checking out. And today, I'm going to try and find them. I'll tell you one thing about the Montreal Metro buildings. They look nicer on the inside than they do on the outside. The outside of them is usually just that classic concrete 60s style building. But on the inside, they each have their own unique style. Even if you're not someone who takes the metro that often, if you're visiting Montreal, I think you'll be surprised by how some of the stations look. Okay, YouTube, look who just showed up, Jean-Francois. Bonjour. Bonjour, welcome to the new travel. Thank you very much. And thanks for showing me your neighborhood today. My pleasure. Now, we just stepped, you saw me a moment ago at the metro. We just walked a block over to show you this place which is actually the oldest building in Place Saint-Henri. Constructed in 1893. Originally a post office. And now it's got a restaurant. Have you been there before? I've never been, to be never honest. Never been? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like fancy. it looks fancy in a building like this. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And the terrace is beautiful. But well, well, right now it's in construction. Yeah. But uh, if you pass by during the summer, honestly, it's really good looking. You know, oh, yeah. speaking of restaurants, just before you arrived, I checked my map just to be like, oh, what's around here? And there's this Caribbean place on the corner. Yeah. 4.7 stars out of five. I was like, oh, it's, this this must be good. Uh, I ate there with my girlfriend yesterday. We uh, we uh, yesterday. ordered a takeout. Oh. Yeah. It's a really, really good place, yeah. to be honest. I like Caribbean food. And uh, this one is, I think it's uh, uh, inspired by uh, Asian food, more precisely. Oh, nice. And it's really... Uh, it's really, really good. <laughs> you and your girlfriend have been here for how long? Uh, almost a year now. We, almost a year, okay. Yeah, we moved um, December 1st, I think, or November 30th yeah. Of, yeah, of last year. And uh, we, I mean, we visited a few restaurants, a few places. I walk a lot, so I had the chance to see like nice. most of places in the neighborhood. And nice. I got to say, I grew up in Nachelaga. Oh yeah. And like here there are more, I'd say English speaking people. Okay. In, in Nachelaga there are, I'd say it's mostly French speaking people. So there's more, I'd say diversity here as well. Um, I think it's a bit more like uh, gentrifié. Wait, I, don't wait, know, wait. I don't know what's the English word for that. Gent gentrified, yeah. yeah. Uh, Most of houses and, and loans are more expensive than elsewhere in Montreal. Interesting. Um, it, do you find there's much development in this area? Are um, like things building or it's pretty much how it is? Most of new buildings are by the uh, Canal La Chine. So there's lots of new condos that are building. And it's not only in Saint-Henri, it's like also in uh, Little Burgundy and Griffintown. Okay. There are lots of new condos that are built there and it's like towers and major oh. buildings. Now speaking of towers, who is this guy? He's built like he's a tower. Louis C used to be a strong man. I think he lived during the 80s, 60s until the early 1900s. And 
Yeah, he from was, Montreal, of course. I don't think he comes from Montreal. Okay. Um, but he lived in Montreal and he patrolled in the southwest of Montreal as a policeman. Oh, wow. A few years. But he's well known to be like the strongest man in the world. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be a criminal if this guy's coming after you. Oh, my <laughs> God. There's a You're a bit there. of a strong man yourself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Okay, YouTube, look both ways. We're crossing the tracks. There's something cool, isn't it? Just looking straight down train tracks. You probably shouldn't do it for too long, though. Let's keep going. I like, I like that little sign over there. No screaming, no music, no drinks outside. I like that they have to put no screaming. Like, someone must have screamed enough for them to write that on the sign. I hope it wasn't you, John Francois. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who is a YouTube channel, The New Travel. Yeah, that's me, man. Yeah, I like your channel, man. Oh, thanks. So what are you doing here? Are you filming something? I'm doing a video today about St. Henri. Okay, nice. How do you like Montreal? Uh, for now, it's very good. For now? Yeah, for now, I like it. I made some friends. Uh, the city is uh, uh, very adorable. You no, know, it's a huge city, yeah. but... Uh, you don't feel like it's a huge city. You feel like it's a very many small na small neighborhoods kind of combined together. Yeah, uh, I, I feel that like too. It. Yeah. yeah. Well, continue the good work. I really Thanks, love man. your video. Uh, take Bye. care. Awesome. I love those moments. Oh, yeah. A little bit at west is La Chine. Huh. Um, you, you walk down here a lot? Yes, honestly. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really nice place to walk by with friends or with, I mean, my girlfriend also. One of these days I need to take a bike ride the whole way. I, I've done it before, but usually I stop around and we're done. So there are lots of those. If you walk or bike from here to downtown yeah. or the old port, you're going to see lots of those those buildings being built or that have been built like quite recently. How do you feel as someone who lives in the area? Do you like seeing these new buildings popping up? Are you like, oh no, don't change my area? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just feel that my personal feeling is that I don't feel it's meant for families because most of the units mm. are, are kind of small. Or if you want huge units like five and a half or more, they're really expensive. Different demographic moving in sometimes. Yeah, I, I think it's mainly made out for young professionals or young couples who are going to sell their unit to some younger young professional <laughs> couples like in five years from now. Or maybe it's old people who are retired and just want to move out of the house where they, uh, they got mm. their children, their children got their own places and stuff like that and they sell their house to come to a smaller... I just feel it's not made for families because there's a lack of space a million dollars i'm gonna need a lot more views on youtube before i buy one of those <laughs> okay so this whole like industrial building that's there, a yeah well that's a huge building what's what's going on up here there's been a few videos and articles about it there's a small pink house on top of it. <laughs> and the funny story... Look at that, YouTube. <laughs> the funny story is that we don't know who did that. And there's been like a Christmas tree sometime. What? And there, yeah, there are, there are decorations and there are lights <laughs> at night that flashes and... Oh my God. And stuff like that, so... Look at the graffiti too. Someone got the whole top of those... Uh, la graffiti sur la silo. Is it graffiti in French too? Oui. I mean, I don't know what's scarier, building that house or doing that graffiti on top there, but both of them are not things you'll see me doing anytime soon. Bixie life. Unfortunately, the Bixie season is almost over. Still not sponsored by Bixie. Bixie, 
Sponsor my videos. I will love you forever. Ah, I love you anyway. That's the problem. Yeah, as Jean-Francois just said, uh, you gotta be careful with your camera while on the bike. He's probably right. I should probably not be doing this, but I just like bringing you guys along in the journey. I can't, can't put YouTube aside. Oh, look at this little view of downtown over there. It looks so small and cute, but it's actually much bigger if you could see past these guys. Oh, man, you are fast on that bike. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> felt, like, felt like I was racing in the Tour de France or something. <laughs> The Tour de Quebec. Time. Tour de Quebec, I guess you should say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. People selling vegetables, fruits, um, charcuterie, cheese, lots of amazing products. So that's three dollars for this guy. Five for the medium and... Are they saying for eight bucks you can get all those? Yeah. That is a damn good deal. <laughs> And they're fresh apples. So. Oh my god. That would last me all year. Paradise de fromage. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Here it's restaurants. That'd be a nice souvenir from the market. So that was a quick little walk through the market. There's more that I didn't show you, but it's a, it's a pretty interesting place. And good prices too, I, I would say, especially when it comes to things that are straight from the farm, like the apples and probably some of the vegetables. Now, I bought some cheese. Jean-Francois got me some cheese too for a dish that he said I have to make. What, what's the name of it? What's it, the story there? It's called uh, Gratin de Finois. It's, Gratin uh, de Finois. Yeah, it's a recipe from France. Okay. And it's typically, it's a really, it's a really easy recipe to do. And yeah. it's full of gruyere, cream, um, potatoes, and milk. Okay. So I don't, I hope you're not lactose intolerant yeah. or something. Cause <laughs> Cheese, cream, milk, yeah, that's like a torture. <laughs> but that's, uh, yeah. I, I hope you're gonna like I'm it. gonna make it I can't wait <laughs> speaking of meals it's just started to rain but we're off to a meal ourselves I thought it'd be cool to uh, end this video with a local restaurant since I've never been here there's a lot of places I haven't tried around this area let's go see what we can find but uh, Jean-Francois was just saying there's a couple of really well-known restaurants here and one of them is that one right the green spot yes uh, yeah, the Green Spot is, it's, it's a restaurant that is in the area since quite some time. And it's a typical, I'd say, French-Canadian diner where there's hot dogs, poutine, yeah. smoked meat, and like <laughs> lots of different things that... I didn't, even, I didn't even notice in front of the McDonald's, so... Yeah, it's in front of a McDonald's and it so survived. So that's, that's definitely the better pick yeah. if you're in this part of town, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes, so... But there's one other spot you said we have to try. Which what are we having today? Uh, we're going to the Sate Brothers, which is, in my opinion, the most iconic restaurants in the neighborhood. So let's go there. That's all I had to hear. <laughs> On y va. Test one, two, test. So as you can see, it's a bit darker outside now. We just finished our meal and I have to say, I'm not just saying this for the video. That was probably one of the like, maybe top three restaurants I've tried in Montreal. That was cool. Those chicken skewers at the beginning were amazing. That soup was amazing. Your salad was good too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, if anyone is into Asian cuisine, Southeast Asian in particular, that place, definitely, definitely worth a visit. I'm now back where I started outside the metro and uh, just going to gonna say goodbye now to Jean-Francois. Thank you, man, for all of your time and all your uh, expertise today. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, it was my pleasure uh, to uh, 
make you a bit of a small tour around so you obviously have a pride in your neighborhood and it, it shows yeah, yeah i like it here and uh, i think it's uh you can make a good living and uh yeah i just hope that people are going to be interested and and visit sometimes you've done great today so shout out to jean francois and i hope everyone at home has enjoyed this one as always i'm dan from the new travel i'll see you next time